In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to log in to your remote server from your local computer and then transferring a file over to that remote server. Uh, first thing you'll need is an FTP program. One of the popular ones is Smart FTP. Another one is FileZilla. Um, so once you have that downloaded, installed, and opened up, you'll be at this point and we'll need a few pieces of information one being a host which can be an IP address or domain name a login username and a login password as well as a port number and that information can be gathered from your systems administrator or from your web host company uh, we can go ahead and contact them and get that information once you do have that you can move on further with this tutorial and most of these programs are set up the same in which uh, it's usually file and then a new um, remote browser or something along those lines and then you'll get a, a pop-up window more than likely and then you can fill out the information so it's all typical information nothing out of the ordinary um, you'll see something such as uh, the protocol so what it's actually going to be transferring over with the set rules and in this case I'm going to use SFTP over SSH and then I am going to use an IP address and not a domain name for my host and then it's optional uh, you don't have to put this but I am going to put a path var. and what this path actually does is once we initiate the connection it's going to take me straight away to that path if it does exist uh, within the remote server that I'm connecting to and login type I'm going to keep it username and password and then for the username I'm going to put that in and I will paste in the password and then for the name this is just more so for your organization so you can call it anything and I'll just put testing and OK. As soon as I press OK on Smart FTP, it's going to attempt that connection. If it's successful, it will connect me and it actually put me into that file path that I was looking for. And I'm in the directory I wanted. And then I can make a simple transfer of information. So I'm going to go ahead and test this out. Here's all the files on that remote server within that directory and what I would do is uh, locate a file on my computer so on this left side here I have my remote server and on this right side here I have my actual local host and I can go here and find any information I would want to place on and transfer over um, in this case I'm just gonna do let's see a picture and I would just drag it over here and let go um, on smart FTP they also have these buttons here which you select an item and then you could press this button and it would transfer it over um, and that's pretty much the gist of it um, it's pretty simple if you can navigate through your computers uh, folders uh, folders directories it's pretty much the same thing there's, um, there's file permissions within your server um, but that would be a whole different tutorial Hopefully that helped you guys out. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to, to comment. Don't forget to subscribe and go to systemcontrol.com for more tutorials. Have a good